Hello, I'm Sarah. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my podcast. Welcome to wherever you find me on here. I'm Sarah, and I just got criticized for um, talking about Mary of Nazareth and the Roman soldier, Pantera. Um, believers say that's a made-up story. And out of respect for the, for the uh, true hardcore believers... I want to say maybe I was wrong about that. Um, I'm still using the story for my own life. Um, there's a belief that um, Mary was impregnated by a Roman soldier. And um, I looked up something on AI, and they said that that story was made up, according to the made-up story. And I thought, what the... And then I typed in what really happened. And... Um, what really happened, the second thing that I typed in, um, produced something that went like this. The Holy Spirit um, impregnated Mary. And then uh, a third thing went on to say, um, if someone were to write up Jesus' birth certificate, they would say, Father Unknown. Well, I don't think, <clears throat> I really don't think that people can get pregnant with, um, by just, you know, out of nowhere. And, um, I'm a Christian atheist. Um, I made up my own inner church to, to see what worked for me, the Ideal Church of Universal Ethics. I don't say God in any of my, um, ideas, my six ideas or six commandments, if you will. Um, I don't mention the name God or Jesus, but I do, um, mention ethical ideas, <clears throat> you know, ideas of respect and integrity. And, um, so, um, I like the idea of a more practical, feasible idea of someone getting pregnant and then, oh, you know, she, uh, disobeyed a law because back in those days, uh, you can get stoned to death for, uh, having sexual relations with someone who's not your, uh, betrothed not promised to you or in, you're not engaged with. And so she didn't have sex with Joseph to produce Jesus, according to the story, that story. She had sex with a Roman soldier. And then um, an angel visited her, Archangel Gabriel. And the angel also visited uh, Joseph, told Joseph to go ahead and marry Mary. Um, this baby shall be a blessing. And told Mary have the child. Um, the baby's a blessing. This is the son, this is the son of God. But if the story, if that story is made up, I don't know how else, um, Jesus could have been conceived except the uh, traditional biblical thing, um, that says that, um, Jesus was sired by the Holy Spirit. So, um, excuse me, I have a little cold. Um, I'm going to read something from the AI and it said, my question was who made up the story of Nazareth and a Roman soldier? I just can't believe that any Holy Spirit impregnated Mary. I mean, I just, I can't believe that scientifically speaking, that's possible, even though, uh, I can still respect what people believe. You know, we have a right to believe in whatever we want, and we have a responsibility to administer those beliefs either to ourselves or others <coughs> in a respectful manner. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a cough. I thank the Lord that um, <coughs> the cough isn't making it so that I can't talk. <sniffs> I'm glad I can still talk. I haven't lost my voice. Okay, so here it goes. This is according to I Ask AI, Ask AI Questions. I don't know if you can, oh, it's backwards. I don't know if you can read this. But I, I, I did the I Ask AI. The story of Mary of Nazareth and a Roman soldier. <clears throat> the story uh, of Mary of Nazareth being impregnated by a Roman soldier, soldier is not part of the traditional Christian narrative found in the Bible. The belief in Christianity is that Mary, the mother of Jesus, was a virgin who conceived through the Holy Spirit as described in the Gospels of Matthew and Luke. Origin the, origins of the story. The idea of Mary being impregnated by a Roman soldier is not rooted in historical or biblical accounts, but rather falls into the realm of speculation, 
conspiracy theories, or fictional narratives that have emerged over time. It is essential to differentiate between established religious beliefs and alternative interpretations or stories that may circulate outside mainstream religious teachings. Historical context. In ancient times, Judea, where Nazareth was located, was under Roman rule. The presence of Roman soldiers and officials in the region was common due to the occupation by the Roman Empire. However, there is no credible historical evidence to support the claim that a Roman soldier impregnated Mary. Okay, we live in a very factual world. See, I want to I want things to be based on hard data, but I also want to have an open mind that anything's possible. Christian beliefs According to Christian doctrine, Mary's conception of Jesus was miraculous and divine. The belief in the virgin birth is a fundamental tenet of faith for many Christians and is based on passages from the Bible, particularly in the Gospel of Matthew and the Gospel of Luke. I also want to interject that um, it's a very scientific, uh, believable idea that, um, you know, according to science, that she ha had sex with a Roman soldier. You know, I, I'm more inclined to believe as a Christian atheist. I'm more inclined to believe that. Debunking misconceptions. It is crucial to approach religious beliefs with respect for their sacred nature. Yeah, and I'm doing my best, my level best to uh, do that. And understand that interpretations can vary among different faith traditions. We do have a right to believe whatever we want. We have a right to our faith if we live in a democracy. The story of Mary's virgin birth is central to Christian theology and has been upheld by believers for centuries. In conclusion, the story of Mary of Nazareth being impregnated by a Roman soldier is not part of established religious teachings, but rather a speculative or fictional narrative that deviates from traditional Christian beliefs about the miraculous conception of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to believe that there are amazing things that can happen in this universe and that there are miracles. Yet, I also want to have my feet planted firmly in the scientific world. I want to find a way to integrate spirituality and science. I will see if I can put this video on my YouTube channel. I'm going to see if I can put this video directly below why I accepted the Lord video. I want to also have the healthy idea of no one knows everything. I don't know everything. But I would like things to make sense. Be safe, everyone.